Sagalassos flourished under Roman rule and became the metropolis of Pisidia. They built magnificent structures throughout the city, decorating its every corner. This is the city's agora. In addition to being a spacious land rich in grain, fruit and vegetables, Sagalassos also produced red-slipped pottery that was used for over 600 years in Pisidia and Western Anatolia. In fact, its market spanned all the way to Ostia and Carthage. This is an example of the wonderful preservation work done by the archaeologists at Sagalassos. Do you see the difference in color between the top and the bottom? That's because before excavations, the lighter part was completely underground, with only the top exposed. Actually, this structure is the oldest known Roman bath in Anatolia. So we're lucky that it's in such good condition. The elite members of society spent a lot of money building extravagant structures throughout Sagalassos. And the city rewarded them by placing statues of them in public places. Even building shrines for them like this beautiful Harun. Sagalassos is home to five nymphiums the ancient word for a fountain, and the place where nymphs or water fairies were said to dance in mythology. Two of these still flow naturally today. Mark Watkins unearthed many of the city's most important structures, including this nymphium, and called Sagalassos, the city of water. This location's abundance of water might be one of the biggest reasons why the city was founded here. The statues you see behind me are just replicas, so let's see the originals in the Bourdur Museum. The original statues from the Antony Nymphium are on display here at the Bourdur Museum. Two of them were carved from Aphrodisian marble by an artist who was also from Aphrodisias. I'm here to meet and chat with the excavation director of Sagalassos, Jürgen Pavloma. Hello. Hello. Çok memnun oldum. Benden. Buyurunuz. Well, thank you so much for having me in the excavation house. Not at all. So excited to be here. Yeah. I just have a couple questions for you, sure. if that's okay. Sure. So what I'm really curious about is if you have any new excavation projects going on right now. Well, as this is a 30-year excavation, um, it's yeah not immediately possible to have something new. Huh? So we uh -huh. um, uh, first want to finish a couple of areas. The first one is the area of the Upper Agra, mm -hmm. um, where we have actually finished all scientific explorations that we needed to do. Um, so now we're completing the uh, conservation and restoration project mm -hmm. there, so that actually the general public can enjoy that part of the site. Right. Uh, yeah, no, uh -huh. I, I think it's a quite unique place mm -hmm. in, in Anatolian archaeology and even beyond. Um, we're setting up the same exercise with our Roman baths, mm -hmm. um, which is yeah, an excavation that was going on since 1992, um, and hardly anybody could visit it, and so yeah, it's one of uh, uh, those monuments that should be visited, so we're uh, establishing a, a visiting route within the building, mm -hmm. um, which would actually also be very nice as an experience. 
and then we're hoping in the next years um, to attack. Well, in archaeology, everybody is always going on about um, uh, superlatives, the biggest, the oldest, the nicest. Right. <laughs> we would like to be the most normal excavation in the sense that we're mm -hmm. going to attack normal life of normal people. Mm, um, that's interesting yeah, as well, though. Yeah. Well, we already had some some uh, some studies on on uh, the necropolis and also on, on the dining culture and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But the next stage is really to catch the people where they live, and we want to right. to actually excavate their houses. Mm. And so, not the houses of the rich. Yeah, we we already have uh, some excavations mm -hmm. in that respect. Uh, but re we're really the ordinary people of Sagalos mm -hmm. that are living. Um, and I hope that we're going to be in for some surprises. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. It was really, really interesting. I learned a lot. So, thanks That's again. entirely my pleasure. Please enjoy Sakalos. Oh, I'm sure I will. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us on this illuminating journey through the treasured archaeological sites of Anatolia and the world. Our journey ends here, in the Mycelium, which used to be the food market of the ancient city, which has inspired me to cook yet another ancient recipe, this time in Sagalassos. Be sure to subscribe to Turkish Museums on YouTube so you don't miss any new episodes.